Hello, this is uh, Marcus Freelance and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you um, get into the mid uh, the mid section of the map and you start dominating. This is one of the most important things in War Thunder as uh, many of the maps contains free control points and you want to get all the control points. Now as you can see there is somebody rushing there uh, to get the map but um, I suspect he can't uh, actually take it over because he uh, has too much speed going in. Uh, if you want to know how you see if someone has too much speed, you uh, uh, well, it's just looking at him. Uh, you can see it uh, if uh, he stops capping and then it goes back like you saw there. He had too much speed and he have to turn around, slow down. Yes. Uh, so what I'm doing here is that I'm uh, gaining some energy and um, I thought I was going after that the PE3 but I uh, know. So here I think I'm seeing somebody that I don't have so much speed and I'm going after him. But as I have too much speed it becomes hard to steer and uh, I have to retract, go after that person maybe, make it a lot easier as you see here. And I start shooting him. Uh, um, because I'm an in a energy fighter, I don't follow through, I don't start the dogfighting because um, I will probably get killed and I think that was a hurricane. I get an aircraft kill indeed. So just get up your speed, get up your altitude and turn around, get into that thing and um, you know, go for, go for the kills and this is how you dominate. You don't, uh, you don't start one big uh, even if you're a Spitfire or you're one of the zeros from the Japanese, uh, you don't uh, go in and just start fight in this. You wanna go go in and out and uh, get as many kills as possible. Uh, take out the enemy. Um, on the ground controls, the amount of enemy kills are. Here is the greatest advantage uh, uh, to kill people. Uh, unlike uh, ground strike uh, missions. So what you want to go is you go in and out, you kill people and you protect the people that want to land. If you see that nobody's landing then you it's free to go land yourself. Somebody has to do it and it's essential. Uh, in this map I didn't film it because uh, uh, the band cam only have 10 minutes on it uh, of recording uh, but I captured this uh, map two times the middle and uh, uh, it saves the day. Uh, mostly because my team was pretty good, they knew how to defend it. And uh, if you're in a squadron, you probably just want to get in with your squadron in the middle and uh, not go for your main base and just defend this, take this over at all cost. I mean, uh, you need about to take this uh, middle point uh, one time each map uh, or two times and it's done so um, it's worth uh, getting one of your aircrafts destroyed and it's a pretty good pay so you want to get uh, a uh, minus uh, credit score for the map and uh, as you can see there I was killed uh, I go into one of my other energy fighters um, so, as you can see on the map, C, B, uh, B is uh, most obvious, people can't really capture C because we have AAs. Um, there you see I'm getting some concern because they're fighting over it right there, so, you know, go in there, kill them, get out of there, go back to C. So, um, usually I would have... Um, uh, not uh, cared for helping these people at B, but uh, because people were landing on the airfield uh, It was better if I could assist them in that and help them, but otherwise I would go maybe directly to C and just skip B So as you can see energy fighting Energy fighting is pretty useful even at uh, low altitudes and uh, uh, some people just don't get it uh, when you get down to low altitude that they stop energy fighting. 
I mean, if you're already in a, in a position to dogfight, you shouldn't go to energy fight, but uh, uh, you know, don't forget to energy fight at low altitudes. If you don't know what the energy fighting is, it's when you uh, just go in and out, in and out, in and out, and uh, you don't turn around as much. As you can see here, I get up the energy, I go from altitude to speed, or speed to altitude. And this is pretty useless. Um, this is one of the things that you should not do, but I'm doing it anyway. I am hunting this guy down. It's a BF109. Uh, uh, hunting him down. He is uh, the first in his tier, so he's not that good. Uh, he's turning around. His biggest mistake is that he don't point his head towards me and you know, uh, try to um, start uh, shooting at me and uh, as you can see there I get in some pretty good shots make it hard for him to dogfight me but I mean he is uh, still a better airplane to dogfight in than me but I got his damage so yeah as you can see yeah he's he can turn around as good as me and that's why we're getting kills on him now. I mean, he's still pretty good at turning around. Oh, now I got him on my back because I didn't do the proper maneuver. Um, that is one of the things that you should learn. Um, it's very helpful uh, if you press, uh, for example, a and uh, Q at the same time you use the rudder and the airplane uh, side wing to turn and uh, that will make that you fall behind the person immediately unless the person is in knows what he's fucking doing so uh, use uh, multiple ways to turn around for example you can uh, flip your uh, plane to the side and then use the elevator and it will turn uh, Fuck, yeah, 90 degrees. <laughs> uh, that's one of the best ways to turn, but uh, it doesn't leave you with uh, multiple choices how to kill the enemy. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. So now I'm going back in. As I said before, it's a pretty bad choice to go hunting for people like that. What you really want to do is uh, go for the middle, even if there's people over your own base, because uh, it's not as important. Uh, somebody's hunting him. As you can see, he's not going for on the sides of the airfield, he's going in the middle of it. So you can count on it being not one of the capture. Uh, going in, and I think I kill steal him right there. But I mean, it's, it's a hard thing to see if uh, you kill still or not kill still because uh, I mean, it's the, it's the system that is wrong, not the players most of the time. As you can see, the friends here have been pretty good uh, without me. The burning wrecks on the ground shows you that there's uh, been a lot of fighting here. So I shoot him from low, it's weird that it didn't explode because I hit him with the 30. 37 millimeter gun and here I do what you shouldn't do I go into the enemy base I mean there's not a lot of them there and as you can see I don't go and turn around fully on that person and here I got very greedy and try to kill this guy I mean uh, after that uh, thing with the BF I was just too tired to just care what I did so I got and tried to kill everybody here I, mean, uh, I was pretty tired at this point of the game and just wanted to kill people. See what I did here? I tried to ram this guy on the airfield with my plane because I'm so broken and it doesn't kill him. Uh, but I mean that's just two planes, I got several kills. 
Uh, well, thank you for this. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, get other tips from me. Thank you. This is Marcus Freelance.